Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new. And today I'm going to be doing this Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon album inspired um, eye makeup look. I'll, I'll insert the actual uh, first picture I did. I changed it up just a little bit with like the triangle and everything, but for the most part this is the same exact look I did the other day. And then I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see a tutorial on it, and you guys said yes. So here we are, and if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, I'm starting off with a MAC concealer, and I'm using this as primer, and I'm not going to be setting it just so the colors show up a lot more intense, especially when working with bright colors. Then I'm setting my under eyes to catch fallout, and I'm taking the Bold Cover Shot palette, and using all those colors to create a little rainbow on my eyelids. And the palette already lays it out in the order of the rainbow, so it makes it really easy. You don't have to like sit there and think about what color goes next to what color. And I'm blending it in with the colors next to it just to kind of make it a little bit more of a nice transition <laughs> between colors. And the first time I did it, I legit just used my finger and I drew lines down my eyelids because you end up cleaning up the crease with white eyeliner and you have black on like the upper, um, like above the crease and everything. But yeah, I decided for the tutorial to actually use a brush and it's a lot nicer with a brush. But yeah, you can definitely use your fingers as well because you'll be cleaning up the, the crease anyways. I wipe away the bake and I put the purple into a winged out shape to make it a little bit more winged out and I used the white eyeshadow as a guideline and I just used the black from the Sephora Editorial Pro Palette and I'm applying that above the white eyeshadow from the palette that I used to cut out the crease and I pretty much just go in with the black, stamping it on, blending it and making sure it's winged out. But yeah, just do that. And I took a smaller brush to wing out the lower lash line because I didn't want it to get all over my face. <laughs> I'm using the white gel eyeliner from NYX and I'm going over the original white eyeshadowed cut crease winged out shape I had going on on my eyes. I just wanted a really stark, very bright white to separate the black and the colors. And yeah, I love this white eyeliner so much. And then I'm just setting it with the white from the Sephora Editorial Pro Palette. It is a very, very nice white eyeshadow. Then going back in with the gel eyeliner, I'm using that to draw on the triangles on the eyelids. And yeah, I kind of made some smudges there, but you know, it's okay. Then I'm taking the mint color from the Sephora Editorial Pro Palette and using that to tap on and set the white triangle. In the album, you can see it's like blue and then it's got like the white light through it as well. So yeah, I thought this mint color was like super perfect for it. And then using a liquid white eyeliner, I go above it just so it kind of copies the um, album with having the white on top of the blue light. So yeah. Then taking the NYX white glitter and glitter glue, the white glitter has like a blue green reflect to it. I'm just tapping the glitter glue first over the triangle and then patting on the glitter on top of it and then applying a mix of the glitter glue and glitter onto my inner corners and using the Urban Decay Heavy Metal uh, Midnight Cowboy uh, glitter in the inner corners applying Essence Lash Princess Mascara, and then applying the Makeup Shack Dubai Lashes. Shout out to my girl Rose for giving them to me, and then using the House of Lashes glue to apply them. Terribly, I might add. I am terrible with false lashes. I'm still learning, guys. And the fact that I don't have eyeliner to cover it up makes it harder. But then I'm just going in with the black eyeshadow again to sharpen up the wing and blend it out. And yeah. Then taking the Jeffree Star Skin Frost in Lavender Snow and Mint Condition, I applied it very, very heavily onto my cheeks. Like if you see when I turn, 
it just looks like I have a dark shadow on my face. It doesn't look like highlight when I look straight on. But I liked applying it really intensely and super blinding. And then I just blended it out so it didn't have that like stark line, but it was still a very bright, intense highlight. And I just used those two on my nose and my cupid's bow. I lost the clip of showing the product, but just to finish off the look, I went with a neutral lipstick and it is the Maybelline Gone Grage lipstick. Alright guys, so that is it for the tutorial on how I did this Dark Side of the Moon inspired eye makeup. And if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, as well as turn on the little notification bell so you guys know every single time I upload. And yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hello, love me. I'm corruption. I just noticed that you seemed a little down. Just stand right here on this lining. I can change your.